I start though, guys, this is pretty much how it looks. My room looks like the start at each semester of school. Like it's super clean and then as midterms roll by, as finals roll by, it just gradually starts getting more and more disgusting and more messy. It's a lot of stuff, so we're not freaking out. <laughs> Let's just take it one by one and we'll go from there. So I got vacuumed all of this place, I took out the trash, and I finally hung all the fucking clothes on the floor into the closet. But the only problem is, there's a whole bunch of clothes that I don't need. So I literally just threw it in a pile in the corner. <laughs> I'll probably go donate or something, but you know, I'm not a perfectionist. I'll just have it in that corner and we're good. All right, next up, I gotta go to Target gonna buy some school supplies but I'm gonna make the target trip separate from my grocery trip because that's too much to hold and especially in the summer in New York City it's humid it's hot and I'm tired and I don't I can't drive so I gotta take the train everywhere so we're just gonna go target come back home drop this drop the stuff off and then we're gonna head out to Trader Joe's and get all my groceries there and then we'll go from there so I need a fucking snack I am so tired health as well so I try to buy as like whole ingredients as much as possible and like anything that's without oh. I don't have to buy sauces or like extra condiments things like that I just rely on lime and my salsa <laughs> so, this is what I got from Trader Joe's a little Trader Joe's haul strawberries Mediterranean hummus more strawberries blueberries we got my non-dairy yogurt eggs almond milk salsa mushrooms in the back and then lime and peppers. I got my mismatched SpongeBob and Squidward socks for good luck. Ta da! <laughs> now we're ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I just got out the simulation, and it was a very interesting session. Um, I looped up my finger to put my finger for a rectal exam on a mannequin. So that was interesting. A fake body, a fake butthole. How did my finger do it? <laughs> I don't know. It was, it, was, it was just a very good experience, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I did that and then did some neurological exams and musculoskeletal examinations on each other. Um, and then we took a quiz. Not sure how I did on that quiz because um, I'm so behind on my lectures, so I haven't really been paying attention. So I kind of just bullshitted my way through. Hopefully it's doable and gradable. I'm gonna go see some of my other classmates and work on our projects and maybe just hang out and study. So.
crazy. I found um, truffle oil and sea salt. Holy shit. That's so good. Today is actually such a beautiful weather day because in the past like three or four days, it's been like so humid and hot. Anytime you go outside, you're already sweating. It feels like a sauna or a steam room just because the humidity level is so high. But today's like so nice. It almost feels like spring. So I'm like so happy to be out. Getting the day started, uh, I'm going to head over to the library, get some studying done, and then might meet up with my classmates for a group project that we're doing for our quality improvement class. So we're going to that, but I need some coffee. So definitely going to a coffee shop to get some caffeine, so let's go. A lot of my studying in nursing school revolves around memory and remembering terms and concepts. So recently, I've been taking Korea Red Ginseng to give me a little memory boost for those long days of exam prep and studying. Korea Ginseng has been formulated with powerful ingredients to improve cognitive function as a study has been conducted to find that taking ginseng improved people's ability to remember things that happened in the past, episodic memory score. They also discovered that the effects of ginseng on memory were different depending on a gene called APOE4. Basically, people without that gene saw memory benefits in ginseng. Not only this, but since Korea Red Ginseng extract every time is only 100% ginseng and purified water, Korea Ginseng helps me boost my immune system, increases stamina for these long study days, and enhances my physical energy to keep on going. So the reason why I take Korea Red Ginseng over the others is because the extensive process that they go through. After steaming and drying, this causes the root to turn red and preserves the root for extended periods, which increases the benefits of the ginseng root. Overall, thanks to Korea Red Ginseng, my study and productivity has been saved. Okay guys, so a little background about me is that I'm currently a nursing student here at Columbia University. I am almost done, so a lot of me is kind of feeling senioritis right now, and I don't want to do any work. But we're going to beat it through the end. So basically this is a really interesting nursing program here at Columbia because it is a hybrid program, meaning that it's a master's direct entry into having a registered nurse license, but also having a master's degree. It's 15 months accelerated, so everything has been moving so, so fast. So every week is a different exam for each of the different classes that we have. And there's like a final every five weeks and a midterm every two weeks, which is like so hard to keep track of, but we're doing it. <laughs> One coffee at a time. So my plan moving forward after this program and just in the future with my nursing career is after I graduate, after I take the NCLEX and become a fully registered nurse, I want to work for about maybe six months to a full year or maybe a full year to two years, get my nursing experience in, just become a really solid nurse generally overall, and then apply for the DNP program, which is a doctorate of nurse practitioning degree. And with that, I will be a nurse practitioner. But the reason why I want to go towards that route is because I am so obsessed with dermatology. And ever since as a young kid, I've always been obsessed with like skincare, right? But I think it really took a hold of my life when high school, I got hit with really bad acne. And I just struggled for two or three years with just being so self-conscious and having the biggest insecurity about my skin and like not wanting to talk to anyone or like looking at anyone in the eye. I was scared that they're looking at my skin and my imperfection. And I know what that felt like. I just want to help other teens going through what I went through and the trauma of having acne, right? But also other skin conditions on your face or on the body and anywhere else. And I just want to help out in that kind of way, a different kind of impact, right? And it's not in that sense I'm not fulfilled with bedside nursing. It's more just, I want to be in that provider's role and I want to have that provider's impact on a patient rather than the bedside. So yeah, that DMP is about two years 
years and then I'm going to specialize or do a fellowship in dermatology. That way I could be a licensed dermatology nurse practitioner and then go on from there. Hopefully it'll work out, right? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Right now I'm working on my speech for my social policy class. It's a project that my group mates and I are doing where we're presenting a, like this elevator speech or pitch about how to mitigate poor healthcare access in rural communities. So our solution is having mobile healthcare units available so that we can come to the patients that can't really move out of their apartments or out of their house because of their injuries. And um, yeah, I'm not really good with public speaking, so I'm glad this presentation is through Zoom. <laughs> I'm just gonna be reading off my document and acting like I'm like pulling it up in my head or something. So that would be a lot easier. And I'm glad my social anxiety inside of me is like, oh my God. I'm so happy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep practicing. Yeah, so, by earning your help, we'll be able to make a difference in truly changing the course for enhancing healthcare access in these communities. For example, through funding and grants, we can have an easier initiation in mobile healthcare. Okay, I tripped up on a couple words, but I think overall it went well. It was pretty smooth, right? <laughs> my heart was like pounding for some reason. Even through Zoom, oh my god, I hate this. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna get back on nursing campus, the nursing building to do other project with my other group, so. All right, so my... All right, so my group mates and I just worked on our little poster for our quality improvement class. Or basically, our prompt right now is we want to find a solution to reduce C. diff infection amongst hospitals. So we made like a little pretty poster board with like all these like information and things like that. And we're kind of on a deadline, so we're really grinding. Hopefully we can do this. All right, let's go back to work. Fuck! came to a really super pretty floral cafe in Midtown East. It's called Remy. The whole concept is like a floral shop, but also like a really pretty cafe. So maybe it might get some work done here after we drink, but it's actually so pretty, the coffee here. Like, look at this. First drink, first coffee of the day. I got a latte, no, not a latte, I got an iced Americano with milk with some honey. Mm. Uh, I'm probably gonna shit soon, so uh, can't drink too much, right? <laughs> second cafe. This is actually one of my favorite cafes in New York City to study at. I feel like the one I was just at, Remy, it was a little too um, chaotic. So I always love coming to Kona and East Village. And they have my favorite acai smoothie. I love this one. I love this smoothie. And now I'm gonna watch one of my lectures. I'm actually pretty late to it. I'm actually kind of late to it because it started at one. But it's my anatomy lecture, so I'm gonna hop on that. <laughs> 